Mr. Acorn was a graduate of the all-boys high school that was run by them rabbit priests. His son Jerry was his only child. Acorn's wife died during childbirth. And it was the two of them ever since, father and son. Jerry also went to the boys' school and graduated 20 years ago. He still lives at home with his father. Dad and Jerry both carried a secret with them their entire lives, but they never shared it with anyone. Life is full of twists and turns, ups and downs, and love is the only real thing that matters. Money, sex, drugs, rock and roll, saying mass, forgiving sins, and God's unending love can't take place. Child molesting rabbit priests came to this area in the 1920s. They started a school, a church, a farm, a radio station, a college. The indoctrination of people around here been going on since the 20s doing this in America since the pilgrims arrived at Plymouth Rock. Don't even get me started with Europe. The Coliseum was built in 70 AD and the Ark of Constantine 312 AD. Those who filed the Bible believe that Christ was crucified at Calvary on Good Friday. He was most likely 33. He lived about six years longer than all the other prodigies in the 27 Club. How long has this really been going on? Why have so many rabid priests molested children, covered for them, and why do we let them get away with it? Many people in the world are in awe of men who dress in white gowns, wear plastic ties, carry crosses, etc., etc. We bow to them because we believe they have the power to forgive our sins and turn bread and wine into the body and blood of Christ. As far as I'm concerned, the ritual is fairly cannibalistic in nature. No matter how the ceremony goes, it does seem a bit strange eating and drinking the blood and body of our Lord Jesus Christ. Does what I'm saying offend you? This is just a movie. How offensive is the molestation of innocent children by men who claim to be holy and pure? Parents unknowingly pay these men to watch over their children and to teach them the ways of God. They run our schools, churches, charities, brainwashing the next generation of unsuspecting sheep. Priests use their power to pull you closer by giving you access to them. They try to make you feel special by coming to your home for dinner or taking your children on field trips. Be careful. These men are lonely in life. Misdirected and out of touch. Don't let them lure you in with their tricks. Remember stranger danger? You don't really know these men at all. Who are they? Or where do they come from? As far as I'm concerned, they're all sex deprived and in overdrive. So, amended commandment number two. Never take candy or handouts from a priest. This includes free meals out, movie tickets, invites to the lake. Whatever you do, don't invite them into your house or not. All peace and vampires and protecting vampires. Out of out of mind, fucking priests, out of your mind. To think you tricked us for a time, and screwed your supporters out of every dime, to protect you with lawyers. Who cover up lies Crimes My 
mystic time Kids with candy Jesus Christ and Mary Priest those kids with candy Drug them up, dress them down Have your way the easy way Save you from yourself, from yourself.
yourself From yourself And this just in, a local priest is being investigated for drugging a child using holiday candy. The priest was accused of drugging and molesting the child. No further updates are available at this time.